Cole here, and it is Monday night, so, you know, you don't have to watch the rest of Monday Night Raw, it's like seven hours long, you've seen enough, what you have seen, they will recap, regardless of whether Vince McMahon or Triple H is in charge, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, I recently have uh, been messing around with my Game Shark. And, my, you know, my Game Shark uh, messing has allowed me to really finally get to sink my teeth into a game where people sink their teeth into each other. And that, my friends, is Biohazard, a.k.a. Resident Evil, as we see Charlie Kravzlovsky, I believe is his name, uh, my Facebook friend, along with Eric Pirius, which is a huge honor. Uh, get attacked by a zombie. Actually, there's a really cool backstory for that scene. Like, the Japanese director, like, zoomed in while he did this because he couldn't get his eye to, uh, you know, open wide enough. So, crazy, crazy. And, of course, cool stuff. So, I'm thinking we'll start off playing some Resident Evil. I'm a bit... I'm, I started a game with Jill. She's got a shotgun. Like, there was... Game Shark code I did. I gave myself a shotgun to start off with, and it is like much better because I'm getting used to the tank controls. I mean, and I'm someone who like likes the original Resident Evil quite a bit, but just has never been good at playing it like at all. Um, but I mean, on my channel, I believe I have the only music video version of um, the uh, closing credits to this. Uh, which I actually took off of a VHS tape of Resident Evil that was uploaded online. Um, I just kind of edited it and took the music video off of this, like, hour-long kind of behind-the-scenes thing from Japan. Um, and I had a lot of fan art for Resident Evil, too. Uh, I got, you know, pretty uh, well-known in terms of my comic shop sales picture of uh, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Played by Inez, everyone's favorite mystery girl. So, yeah. Did some rolling tonight at the old jujitsu dojo. And, uh, yeah, I had a good night. And uh, family's asleep early. I'm feeling pretty refreshed. Got a nice hot cup of coffee on because I had some cake for dessert. And I was like, you know, you got to chase that with some coffee. Uh, you know, it's like... You know, it's, I think it's a law, actually, that you, know, you have to do that. And, uh, you know, here we are. So, um, I, I don't really know if I have much to talk about. A lot of the time at the start of um, my live streams, I just kind of, like, ramble for 20 minutes about wrestling or politics or whatever. I will say on the pro wrestling front, I was just listening to Jim Cornette, who is, you know, an unhinged person. Uh, but he apparently also saves a lot of stuff. And he had saved notes that Vince Russo did for a creative meeting. And I'm assuming they're not forged because they don't sound forged. They sound like something Vince Russo would say. And um, it really does go to show that Vince Russo is someone who was definitely a legit wrestling fan with a lot of passion and creativity and just threw a million ideas at the wall. And you really did need to have someone to say, you know, I can make something out of that idea because I understand the cultural zeitgeist. And because of that, Vince McMahon and Vince Russo, I think, were a very powerful team. And Eric Bischoff, for as creative as he is, uh, did not understand the cultural zeitgeist, the spirit of the age, sociological trends, um, that kind of thing, as well as Vince McMahon did. Um, Eric Bischoff was someone who knew how to um, promote his business and, you know, kind of hustle. And he was a wrestling fan, and he, he knew how to make Vince McMahon's stuff better and take creative concepts that he knew uh, that he, you know, kind of gleaned from business journals and working with Greg Gagne and working in Turner and, you know, kind of creatively applied those formulas to pro wrestling and in some cases fell ass backwards into, you know, global dominance of professional wrestling without even realizing how he did it. So, you know, I think Bischoff is the architect of my childhood in many ways, but 
it makes sense that he didn't know how to work with Vince Russo because he didn't have, I think, that in-depth and understanding of the wrestling fan business or how to mentor someone based on a business that you breathe like Vince McMahon did, even though I think that Bischoff was the superior fighter in the uh, quote-unquote Monday Night Wars, uh, both metaphorically and probably combat-wise, because Bischoff is a, a black belt and Vince McMahon's just a, an angry guy on steroids, you know. Uh, but who knows? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. It would have been interesting if those two had a match. Um, right on, right on. Okay, well, uh, I've rambled a little bit. And uh, so I've got this running through my PS2 because I think that the big TV works uh, best for our live streams a lot of the time. I mean, we've had great picture out of our, you know, PVMs, and we also have our, you know, C um, our S-Video and our CRTs and stuff like that, but I think that just, we're just going to go with big screen here, uh, going through a uh, SCAR to component video, and that's getting us a really quality, quality picture here, and, you know, I look forward to seeing how far I can get into this game tonight, and uh, like I said, I started a game with Jill, and so we'll play through uh, as much as we can as Inez. And um, hopefully we find some typewriter ribbon because I, uh, one thing I really, the biggest learning curve for me with this game, thank God I have a shotgun. Like I just, I put a game shark code in and it's like shotgun with ammo. And it's like, this is so much more enjoyable to play. <laughs> um, but um, I, <laughs> The save states, like the, the ability to save and needing typewriter ribbon is really annoying. Um, I guess it all, it does all add to the horror aspect and the tension. The tank controls, I think, add unintentional tension. Because when I first started playing it, it was like being in a nightmare where you couldn't move right. You know, it's like dangerous coming and all of a sudden you can't move. So that is a nightmare uh, that I have had before. Um, and then, you know, having things like low ammo and not being able to save all the time definitely does add to your sense of tension and fear. And, you know, that really is, uh, you know, the essence of horror. Um, but I think I can enjoy a horror game and just have this be a little easier to play. So hence I have the game sharp rolling. So, um, I don't know what else I was going to say. I think I was going to say something else on this topic. But uh, aesthetically, I just, I love Resident Evil, the original one, the best. I love the live action actors. I love the J-pop. I love the, um, you know, uh, just the <laughs> lack of, I, I love the fact this was like a surprise hit, you know? Like, tell us again that people like passionately worked on and and that just kind of like paid off there wasn't like this formula it was like you could tell that there was a lot of passion and experimentation and it was an exciting time uh and video game development and also being a video game fan so right on right on well uh, i'll take a swig of my hot cup of detective joe right here and we'll see how far we can get Don't want to be too loud, so we don't want to wake up uh, La Familia here. I've been, uh, I watched, uh, one of the reasons I didn't stream last Monday was because uh, I was tired, but then I also um, got caught up watching an episode of Better Call Saul. I mean, that epi the series is uh, kind of coming to a close, and uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, getting kind of interesting. I had like, uh, the Breaking Bad Guys back episode, and it was uh, good stuff. Let's see if I can straighten that out. That's worse. Tilt back a little bit. Bear with me, people. Okay, there we go. We got our Gundam Walkie Talkie and Tila riding a robot horse and Sonic and our pile of CDs adorned by Britney Spears and our uh, video game rental store anime VHS tapes in the margin and our nice TV right here. I think that'll do us just fine. All right, let's grab E old controller here. All right, I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit. So scratch all that margin stuff I just said. <laughs> all right. Uh, 
All right. Um, I really, 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 really wish this, which is the original release of this game in the West, um, I really wish it had that, uh, I got a shotgun opening for Chris Redfield. Once again, you have entered into the world of survival horror. Good luck. All right, good deal. Let's, uh, get a shotgun... We got our pre-rendered beautiful backgrounds. We got our tank controls. And how are we doing ammo-wise? We got 126. We got Inez feeling fine. All right, let's get down to it. Santino's been liking watching me play this game. It's been pretty fun. Okay, did I get... I think I already got the map. Oop. I should probably turn the brightness a little up on this TV. Like, uh, this game and... Uh, yeah, I already have the map. This game and Metal Gear Solid, I like to turn the brightness up on. So, let's grab our remote control, and we'll go to menu, and brightness, and adjust, and do 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 And it works for me. All right. Good thing I'm the master of unlocking. Dog, yep. Freaking dog, get over here. Come on. You know, this dog is pretty sturdy there. It took like a bunch of freaking shotgun shots to take him down. You got a friend? Yeah, you do. Sorry, doggy. Creepy stuff. That seems that's about right. I'm looking at creepy stuff. And we're gonna open this door. Take that. Sonic likes to look at the TV. There we go. <laughs> See, like, Inez, like Jill, is even doing her I'm waiting. It's pretty, uh, pretty stash. We gotta put that in the thumbnail right there. It's locked. Carving of armor. Okay. Do, 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 do. Any zombies here? Probably. Zombie anywhere? Nope, nope. Okay. No zombies. Basically, my. The only horror game I've ever sunk any time into. And it's in large part because of the ladies opening to the, <laughs> the live action actors. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's bleeding now. Okay. Oop, one more. Do it. You dead? Yeah, I kind of turned the volume up a little bit here just because you got to hear the zombie moans. Like, <laughs> Anything in here? It's locked with a carving of a helmet. What the hell is up with this place? Like, we don't believe in keys. We believe in odd carvings. And rusty doors. That's another thing we believe in here. Doggy. Doggy. 
dude. So up with these dogs. They've been fed gum powder so they can devour the criminals trying to drop my decimals. Damn. <laughs> Trying to stick me for my cream, and it ain't a dream. Things ain't always what it seems. It's the one to smoke blunts with ya, see your picture. Now they want to grab their guns and come and get ya. Bet your biggie won't slip. I got the calico with the black tail loaded in the clip. <laughs> so, so on and so forth. Uh, there, That was your uh, daily uh, rap lesson from uh, Dr. Noel. It's locked. Fantastic. All right. Do 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 do. I have Resident Evil 2 on the Xbox One that I actually just recently bought with Santino. And I'm kind of tempted to play that after I beat this game. Oh yeah, the bird room. Hitchcock would be proud. Give me some sleep. I'm gonna lower this so my family's not woken up by creepy ass 32 bit polygonal crows. Picture of a newborn baby. There's a switch. Oh, when you push it. Yeah, Picture of a tired middle aged man. He is a seventh grade teacher. Well, you push the button. Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't consider myself middle aged. I plan to leave, live until at least 120. I'm going to start uh, eating that Himalayas yogurt, but, you know, there's always like some like or old lady that lives in the mountains, like 120 years old, and all they do is eat yogurt. A picture of a young man. He teaches seventh grade. <laughs> That's more like it. Uh, there's a switch below. Will you push it? Yeah, sure, why not? A picture of an infant. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yeah, sure. We were playing the Japanese version of Biohazard on one of our streams, and I remember I was, like, trying to um, translate this through a camera. Uh, it's really easy to put it in English, but I'm happy I have the Japanese ROM so I can hear the Japanese opening. Switch below, will you push it? Yeah. These birds aren't really tough, that's a good thing. Not like those dogs. And dogs, they have like a million <laughs> like eat all these like rounds from a shotgun and keep coming at you. Lack of typewriter ribbon. The crows I can easily shoot with a shotgun. I've been re uploading some um, reviews Santino and I did, and I'm trying to uh, more aesthetically pleasingly crop the images. Um, so, uh, we got a couple of Mario, a few Mario reviews on the Switch uploaded. 
So check those out if you haven't. And uh, also, thanks to our good friend, International Channel for Life, who will in all likelihood be swinging by the stream at some point. Um, he uh, helped me uh, track down the um, song uh, from Hey Saijo to um, that he did for the Bubble Star, uh, which I uploaded the uh, commercial for on my channel, both the long and short version. He helped me do some digging, and eventually I was able to, um, you know, uh, find a good YouTuber who specializes in Hideki Saijo. You know who Hideki Saijo is? He's a Japanese Elvis, and he did a cover of uh, YMCA called Young Man um, that had, like, no gay subtext. It was just, like, a song about, like, honorable young men and they should go to the YMCA to become honorable young men <laughs> be inspired young man uh, and he had like cheerleaders with him and stuff and um oh yeah dogs um he also did careless whisper a cover of that too any who did this like really good commercial um for this uh japanese um kind of uh, bubble jet thing um and there's this like naked girl like in the commercial just like swimming around in this like giant pink bathtub and then at the end and this is like just banging hideki saijo song this sounds like they like sample stuff that was used in like, co like i think cosmic fantasy two sample stuff that was, like used in the synth tracks so it should tell you the quality of the music that he's singing over and at the end of this commercial there's a guy and he's like I dedicated my life to the creation of the Bubble Star. And I was like, I have to find out everything I can about this commercial. And I finally tracked down the full song, so. Any zombies? I don't remember. I remember one time I ran around the corner and like a zombie bit me. That's no fun. Luckily I had some herbs and it cleared that right up. Was this where I become a Jill sandwich? Looks like there was a drunken party in here. Well, there's nothing unusual here. <coughs> you know, another game we got to play in the stream tonight. I actually got Dead or Alive um, on the PlayStation uh, Japanese version in the mail today. We gotta play that. I didn't already have a game genie shotgun. Ah, what the hell? Let's get an extra shotgun. You never have too many shotguns. Yes, I will take the shotgun. Because I got a shotgun. Anything? What is the Jill story? Like five hours? Yep. Jill sandwich time. It's locked. Come on, come on, come on. That was a close call. I think Barry was there. Barry's cool. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry, didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh... I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get 
back to searching for the lost captain, because shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barry, he's good people. Um, so the actor for Barry, Eric Pierius, who I've actually gotten to, you know, talk them, not talk, but comment and get uh, some random responses here and there on Facebook. Um, you know, uh, the guy played Wesker. We're both big Vikings fans. And, um, uh, Kroslovsky, who's done a lot of Japanese stuff, like bit parts and things like that, who played, um, Chris. Uh, they've been uh, more active recently. In fact, I think they're actually doing a little bit of a live action project um, where they're reprising their roles, kind of like an indie film type thing. So uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff. And, you know, they'll lend their time to podcasts and people like that. So, uh, you know, they really are the, the real uh, cast of Resident Evil. And it's kind of a shame that you know, Resident Evil, which is so cinematic, never got a proper... <laughs> I feel like story-wise movie, you know, that was really part of the, like this, put the game in movie form kind of thing. Is that already in here? I have such a horrible sense of direction. Yeah, those are the dogs. This is why I'm like bad at RPGs. I, mean, I love RPGs, don't get me wrong. I backtracked one time, like in Final Fantasy VII, all the way like up the hill when I got to disc two. Like I went back to Midgar, the start of disc two. <laughs> Not like to necessarily write to Midgar, but I fought the snake again a few times. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't have to level up anymore. Because, like, I, I think I was like at level 50 at the start of Disc 2 or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what's behind here. First of all, let's go look at this picture of a chubby woman right here. Picture of a chubby woman. <laughs> like, I was joking about that with Sandy and everything. Like, picture of a chubby woman. And Sandy was like, like baby. <laughs> Is there a zombie here? There was at one point. No, I think he's gone. Various pictures. I have Sweet Home as well for the Famicom, and it's in English. I think I already... I mean, I know I've said that on the live stream, but since this is basically like the... You know, trying to basically put Sweet Home into 32 bits, and, uh, you know, making the most of the situation... Upstairs and shot a bunch of zombies. I mean, I don't know if they saved the game or not. Because I, you know, freaking bar gone ink ribbon for typewriters. Woman. Okay. Anything in this clock? Dusty looking grandfather clock. Dusty looking grandfather clock. Do 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 do. Looking at dusty grandfather clocks. Anything on this table here? Ooh, utensils. You know, I really want to do like a manga that's like it's like a zombie apocalypse manga, but it's just like an episode of Full House, and it's just like everything like happens like completely smoothly. 
because the way to survive a zombie apocalypse is to not be a douchebag. Like, seriously, it's just to keep your composure and work together because zombies are freaking morons because they're, like, just brainless and slow and weak. And it's, like, in, in, like, all the zombie movies, like, the good ones, the reason that people die are just because they can't get along. But in Full House, where, like, they know how to get along, it's, like, they'll just be, like, an effortless episode of Full House where every so often they have to, like, you know, kill a zombie and, even, like, take real attention to kill the zombie. Like, it's just second nature, like, you know, taking a drink of water. Like, you know, Danny will be, or, like, Bob Saget will be talking to Michelle about, like, the Dion or test, and then he'll, like, you know, go just turn around and, like, stab a zombie in the head or something like that. Like, that needs to be a thing that, that happens, and I will make it happen. A fuller house of the dead. Yeah, this is a, this is a thing you gotta do. It's dark outside, and I can't see very far. Picture of scenery. The hollow emblem that was in. I think if I go around the corner, there's like a jazz bar or something. By Malcolm and Eddie. It's called the 50-50 Club. Let's go through here. There's like a jazz bar around this area. Well, not a jazz. There's a place for the piano. And you play like Secret Passageway opens up. It's through here, I think. You have used the lockpick. Any uh, undead jazz musicians here? No? Ah, well. Bookshelf. I'm gonna move it over here. Do 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 do. Anything interesting? Will you take the music notes? Sure. I don't see why not. Anything else? Can I take this? Take this plant and look nice in my apartment. This is how you survive a zombie attack. You, forward thinking, you know? Time to play the Moonlight Sonata. Smooth, smooth sounds. All right, time to go take a gold emblem out of this thing. Will you take the gold emblem? I sure will. Time to uh, hang out and look at my cell phone for five hours. Oh, wait, it's 1998, and, uh, you know, I probably have a Nokia cell phone that might not be able to occupy me for five hours, although I'm sure it's got some pretty good games on it. Like, even back in 98, you could play, like, Tetris on it, and, you know, that game's, like, phenomenal. So, uh, but anyway, I should probably put this wooden shield in there. You can't, yes, I can! I'm supposed to put the wooden shield in this thing. Right? It's hollow emblem that was in. There you go. Okay. Okay, Joel, come on. Come on. 
what is this? Is this like an, oh, it's a table. I was going to say, is this like an ironing board? Like, you know, the piano guy ironed his pants before he performed. Locked from the inside. Kenneth was killed, probably by this creature. It's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Yeah, it's not looking great. Looks like a picture of the mansion. It looks like we're continuing with our trend of uh, no comments early on in the stream, which is uh, fine by me. I'll uh, see camera on and look at dinner utensils. Do -do -do. Anything good? More dinner utensils. More dinner utensils. Shoot some zombies up there. See what emblems we can get. Walking up these upholstered stairs. Gonna shoot some zombies with my shotgun. There's like a statue we have to push off the balcony. That's creepy. Alright, better get my gun ready here because this is not a good looking place. take the bazooka? Of course I will. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Damn it. Hey, birdie, birdie. Some of this action here, huh? Huh? Take out my friend. Yeah, it's like there are some more of you. Freaking zombie crows. You know, in the one live stream we had, I read the manga I did about the zombie pigs on the male enhancement infomercial. It's a real thing, by the way. Kenneth. Anything here? Nothing? Okay. I 
think this game would give you good police training. Because you always got to, like, every time you hit a corner, you're ready to get your weapon ready to go just in case. Because this is Thriller in the night. <laughs> I don't know if that's the lyric or not, but, you know. have to make this thing fall off the balcony here. It's like watching something on Resident Evil, like Shinji Mikami, like I think the previous game you did for Capcom was Goof Troop. So technically Goof Troop and Resident Evil are in the same universe, which is uh, pretty cool. Like the hidden boss is power line. That's uh, some quality stuff. In fact, in the uh, Japanese version, the director's cut of the Japanese version, you could actually unlock power line. That's not, none of this is true, but it should be. You've ruined dinner. <laughs> You've ruined Christmas. 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 Nothing. All right. Do 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 do. There's definitely a zombie coming. I can hear him coming. Hey, buddy. It's like so much more enjoyable now that I got a shotgun. <laughs> I understand why Chris Redfield was bragging about it at the start of the Japanese version. That's not a helmet, that's a shield. The merit key panel. You don't know the pass number. <laughs> do, do, do. Let's uh, go downstairs. Get a glass of orange juice and uh, go to our furnished basement. Maybe uh, do a TikTok. I don't know. Cast members, yep, there is one. What's that diary entry where the person's like writing about how they're becoming a zombie? 
their stuff becomes progressively more incoherent. It's very much like, you know, a teacher's, you know, <laughs> a teacher's lesson plans throughout the year. <laughs> the last lesson plan is itchy tasty. <laughs> That's all it's written, itchy tasty. <laughs> What is the last page that's written in this zombie diary of this person here? We, uh, we done here? Anyone else? Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of this plant. There's like some zombified plant, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Because every time you like walk up to it, it like smacks you. Alright. Any more zombies? Hopefully not. There is one. Hey. Then, uh... There you go. Do, do, do. Let's see what the next thing to hold in uh, this old Italian lady's house is. No, I have no idea. Some tigers have red eyes, and oh, that's where the statue that I knocked over. If you uh, haven't listened to Eric Pierce's interviews about, you know, filming stuff for Resident Evil, it's, uh, Pretty cool. I mean, there's not, like, he doesn't go into, like, he goes into as much detail as he can. But it's just really cool to listen to. It's like the director, he, like, says, like, hard, though, hard, though. <laughs> like, look, put a hard expression on your face, you know? Oh. That's why you should never run in the hallway. Because a zombie could be around the corner and bite you. Vitamins and serums. Can I use any of these vitamins and serums here? They're all expired. There's a bed. Oh, good ink ribbon. Yes, I will take the ink ribbon. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes, I will. Well, that makes me feel good. I have to start from scratch. Ooh, and I got an extra ink ribbon, too. Um, I should probably put some of this stuff in our chest here. Uh, we can put this extra shotgun in. And This won't like screw up my game shark stuff, will it? If I put the gun in there, Beretta. I think I think that's okay. 
me just double check. I'm gonna put the Beretta back, see if it makes a difference. No, it doesn't. I just didn't know, since the Beretta was like the default gun, if that somehow would affect the code of the shotgun. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything here. But we do have a nice extra ink ribbon, which makes me feel good. Alright, so no more zombies, so that's a plus. And we're gonna walk around here and walk around here a little more and look around this corner here and look around this corner here and go through this door here probably go downstairs and grab a hold of that thing that I dropped down there play a Resident Evil Code Veronica. I hear that's like the one where like Tronza from Jetman like has a giant robot and then like attacks the city and the robot's name is Veronica and that's why it's called Code Veronica. There's definitely a zombie here. There's definitely a zombie here. Hey, buddy. You know, like, you leave me with the option of, like, you know, putting you out of your misery or, like, being your friend. And, like, I would be down for, like, rehabilitating zombies, you know, but he's just not reasonable here. Trying to eat my brain. And who could blame him? Like the Highlander. When you eat a person's brain, you absorb their power. At least that's what the cannibals next door told me. Botany book. Lots of plant stuff. Do do do. More plant stuff. And uh, sounds good. It has been filed. Nothing uncommon, nothing uncommon, nothing uncommon. Well arranged. It's like my wife organized this bookshelf. It's well arranged. And it's also well arranged. Nothing uncommon. I think that's probably gonna be about it here. Nothing uncommon. Ah, do do do. Take one more look around. And, uh, was it this time we came out of? No, I think that was the other door. There's only one door in that. I can't, I can't even tell. Like sometimes, if there's, 
Is this the way that the camera is? That the, is there one door or two door? Like, yeah. So there's definitely just a wall there. I think there's only one door in here. You unlock? Oh no, I didn't. That's the other door. I unlocked it. Oop! Zombie. Jill, the master of unlocking. No, same way. You know, if like Wesker or whatever evil person is, you know, watching me from the security cameras, you're just gonna be like, wow, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> thinking to myself like I can just run and then I'm like no I should stop and get my weapon ready in case there's a zombie and sure enough there's a zombie a carving of armor if there is another zombie around this corner There's a painting and a blue door. <sighs> Weird room. Wood is put in the stove, a paper on the wall. Is there anything on the paper? I mean, I don't have anything. Can I use this here? Yes, I can. Will you take the green herb? I sure will. A carving of a helmet. And I don't believe I have a helmet. They have an emblem. Do-do-do. Uh, What they needed to do in the director's cut is have Santa come down that chimney and just like beat the shit out of all the zombies with his magic powers. It's another thing I need to make happen. Like that comic book idea. steps. And there's a zombie. Lots of zombies and lab jackets. I wonder what was going on here. Ooh. More green herbs. Yes, I will. save my progress. Always save. We're in the fur 
first floor storeroom and will you take the chemical? I'm not sure. Gardening tools, nothing useful. Gardening tools, nothing useful. Alright. Whatever. You gotta save it and that's what's important. Locked from the inside. And I think we're with this painting. I wish I had time to enjoy these pictures. <laughs> well, you know, you do. Like, because half those pictures are like weird ass clues. <sighs> well, back upstairs. Yeah, he's already in here. Yeah, some of the weird... And this is locked, right? Okay. And I'm pretty sure this I've already been in. Or no, this got armor on it. Now comes the portion of the game where Noel gets lost. Doorknob is broken. Well, that's great. One of the biggest things that my wife ever said that impressed me is that she played this game on the DS. I was like, let's go upstairs. <laughs> I've already been in here. And that's where I shot that zombie. And that door's locked. And I, that's locked with a carving of armor. This is open. Barry. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Good old Perry. And his bold, clear English. Probably should like cozy up with a walk through to this game while I'm in bed tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> this is locked, right? Or is it? Is it locked? Man, where the hell is that stupid armor? certain point I'm gonna start playing some dead or alive on the PlayStation but I am curious to see where yeah we go you can't carry any more items damn it use an item here. You don't need to use this item. Damn it. Damn it. I should have put some stuff in that storage chest. I mean, I could always just take a break. I think I saved in a room with a storage chest, so wouldn't be that big a deal. Oh, memo on my Sonic CD review. No, Sonic CD. Sonic um, Spinball review that I did with Santino. The Japanese version of the game does have different music when you die. Wasn't sure if it did, but it does. I mean, I'm thinking I should probably just, rather than have to freaking backtrack to, I mean, I don't know, maybe I will backtrack. I mean, let's take one more little bit looking around here. I mean, we made, I think, a decent dent in the first floor here. I mean, we've been streaming for like 67 minutes. Is there anything on this table of interest here other than freaking dinner utensils? face is so annoying. It's just like, you know, you think you need it, but you don't. I was just saying if there was like, you know, one of those candle holders had something interesting about them, but I guess they don't. It's really too bad that a Nez interview never materialized. escape out the front door like it's ah I, I guess it's bad enough there are a bunch of zombies out there so we, we can't so well and zombie dogs you know so that's the other thing that drove us into the mansion It would be interesting if they actually released the Resident Evil 1.5. I mean, this one people would just want to play it to play it. My neighbor is yelling, not yelling, but just talking loudly outside. And I don't know why, because it's like 11.30. Zombie. <laughs> Sounds like it's eating crackers. 
fact, I'm pretty sure that's what the, you know, that that's the way that they recorded the zombie voice. They just had one of the, you know, programmers eat crackers into the microphone. The crows again? Why are they all back? A picture of a tighter middle-aged man. Will you push it? Yes. I should probably just play something different, but... I'm just kind of curious to see what happens here. Unless all the freaking bad stuff came back when Barry decided to talk to me. Good going, Barry. Picture of an infant. There's a switch below. Oh, you know, I don't think I ever went in this room. Did I? I know I, like, died, like, early on, but... In the stream. But I don't think I ever actually went in here. I mean, I've beaten this room before and then just didn't have any grip and had to turn my PlayStation off. No, I'm not going down to you, you freaking... spot but luckily i saved so our progress is you know maintained man stupid crows i had like no problem with them earlier today it was felled twice by them well um this uh has been rewarding and i'm not saying that we you know won't revisit uh our good friends at the the mansion but uh thinking we might want to get to some dead or alive on the PlayStation because I did just get that today. Um, yeah. So I'll take uh, some cough here. I'll show you this jewel case. It's pretty nice. of the Sega Saturn over the PlayStation. And I'm not saying I'm not for this game. Uh, the Saturn version of this game is freaking phenomenal. But I've always seen pictures of the PlayStation version of this game, and I really like the way that they did the graphics on it because PlayStation's got that very nice um, light and shadow, crisp 3D graphics CGI style to it. Very present in this game. This game also has Bass, who's like Hulk Hogan. So, and I'm like a huge Hulkamaniac. So, you know, there's that. So, really wanted to get this version. And the cool thing about this as well, in addition, you get the cool Kasumi, um, you know, uh, CD. Um, it also comes with like a poster that if you like fold it out, 
it's got all the like moves of the characters, which is uh, pretty cool. And it came with a spine card too. So uh, very uh, happy with this. Uh, bought it on eBay from a seller in Georgia. And I got it in a few days because mail travels quickly up the East Coast. Or Conan O'Brien was like making fun of the post office. It's like, yeah, man, they're still around and you're not. I like Conan, but he'd be a douche sometimes. It's like, you know, I don't know. He just was not right for the Tonight Show. It's like toned down his humor and then it like, it's like that old saying, you try to make everybody happy, you make nobody happy, so... Going to initialize the DOA engines here. Sometimes the um, when I play the PlayStation Two, uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say sometimes when I play the PlayStation Two, you got to reset it for PS One games, but not the case. Now, the Saturn and the PlayStation version of DOA are interesting because they're basically two different games. I mean, the Saturn version is a port of the arcade game, and a good one. And the PlayStation version is just like its own game <laughs> that, you know, maximizes the potential of the PlayStation in its own way. Because the PlayStation has different things about it that are better than the Saturn. And the Saturn has things about it that are better than the PlayStation. So they just, rather than try to make the Saturn game work on the PlayStation, just apparently just made an all-original PlayStation version of this game. I like it Kasumi. a little let's go to our options screen and we got wallpaper options here yeah you're gonna go with the girls here Yeah, easy bouncing breast on match point. Uh, yeah, we'll that too. Arcade mode? Thirty Kumite challenge. No, I guess it's like a survival mode type thing. 
This game is looking slick. And playing slick as well. Japanese fighting game on the PlayStation from the mid to late 90s. Well, that didn't work out well at all. So I'm fighting Tina. Now. I don't even know how this works, but I'm sort of seeing like how many of these 30 fighters I can beat here. You know, I don't know what they were thinking with Dead or Alive 6. Like, just, you know, have your sexy girls, your tight gameplay, your pretty graphics, and you've got a winner. Don't screw with the winning formula. about like the live action movie and I'm not trying to be weird about this here but they really did have like kind of a girl play Kasumi and it was kind of like out of place I don't know plus this they're still mad they didn't get Hulk Hogan and Brooke Hogan to play Tina and Bass that's such bullshit Dude, I'm sucking at this, man. No, I don't want to go in the bombs. There we go. This is definitely a game where I think, I mean, I'm I'm rarely a person that says that a game ages badly, and this is definitely a case where a game has aged well. Let's go, brother. You do it. When you win, you throw up that finger and scream Ichiban. Oh. 
Um, Retro Zoltan uh, did put this on the PlayStation Mini, but the ROM wouldn't play any music. Plus, I really wanted to hit the actual hard copy of this. I'm a big fan of DOA. Need to fight Dennis Rodman. Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> See that kind of like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that is like a classic example of the kind of shit that PlayStation can do well. That like light and shadow stuff. Because I really like that uh, little chibi uh, Kasumi there. Interesting mode. I mean, just win, lose, or draw. Just go through and fight people and see how well you do. I mean, I think that because I thought Kumite was the arcade. Hey, you mastered kung fu to live in your world. Awkward stare. to get Mega Man, I have to find a way to get Mega Man 8 on the Saturn buffed. I took it to a pawn shop and they saw it if they had like a CD buffer, because sometimes they do, um, those types of places do, but I mean, sadly didn't have one. We used to have a video store and COVID took it out. We had family video up until like 2020, I'm not joking, we had a video store in Cortland up until 2020 and they had a CD buffer. I wonder if I could buy one on eBay or Amazon. I am really floored by the level of resolution on both this and the Saturn version.
Alright, I mean, this is fun, but is there a version of this where I can, like, open our game ladder and get an ending here? <laughs> can I soft set this? No. I'm gonna just pause this. I'm gonna walk to the kitchen here. Ooh, stretch the old legs. I didn't, uh, didn't stretch after rolling. Probably should, uh, should do that. I might have... Dude, I wonder, I wonder what this game looks like on the PS2 if you, you um, smooth out the graphics. Normally, I don't, you know, <laughs> I just say this. I don't like to eat after 10, but whenever I do a live stream, I always do. So, um, I am getting a, you know, a little bit on the drowsy side, but, like, nothing major. But, uh, you know... It uh, won't hurt to, uh, you know, have a little snackaroo to keep our stream going. So, so yeah, there's that. Uh, nothing says slumber party like a piece of cold pizza in a refrigerator. So... Of course, I'm drinking coffee. Like, coffee and pizza are not, like, a really good combo. So we should probably put this back. There is a teeny piece of cake left. should probably finish this off. balance this on our coffee and go to the game room. Do 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 do. We'll uh well looks like we gotta reset dead or alive because um you know I don't think there's a way to soft set it. And there's no way to reset from the menu screen. So To see what happens here when we smooth out the graphics. We might have a little bit of a shorter stream tonight just because, uh, you know, we kind of. Seems like we just have people popping in and out real quick and. You know, uh, weeknights aren't usually a, a stream night where I get, you know, much in the way of. Uh, Commenters, although you never know. A lot of the time, we just have to wait for the the Cali people to show up, and then we're up to like freaking two in the morning. But you know, people have jobs and lives. One of the things about being a teacher. The job can be really rough, but, you know, 
You do get the summer. Stay up late and live stream. On weekdays. Well, that's loading up. I'm going to grab some more coffee. You enjoy the attract mode. Do 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 do. Bouncing effect is on. I just didn't know if I could put like super bouncing effect on. <laughs> that is so cool though. They let you be able to like change the wallpaper. I mean, I love bass, but we're still going to... Kasumi's always my go-to person. look uh, even smoother uh, you know you can see a little bit of the there's a little mild grid effect in the background from the smoothing which can happen sometimes on the PS2 when it plays PS1 games very very well I mean it's this came in the Saturn game I mean I said it when I first started playing it it's like they're they're just too different I mean they're they play the same but they just look completely different and I and it's just the, it's hard to say which one you like better because Saturn's is just a beautiful rendition of the arcade and then PlayStation's is just its own, like if they made a console game of Dead or Alive with the PlayStation in mind, it's ph phenomenal. You had to like set your age to like 99 if you wanted the maximum jiggle. Can I get it? No, there's no ring out. I was gonna say, can I get that Virtua Fighter style ring out or Soul Calibur style ring out? The answer is no. Come on. 
I'm so close. Got her. Um, I know there's, I believe, they're still making some DOA Paradise games or Street games. I really do need a new entry in the series that's just, like, stick with the DOA 2 formula and don't screw with it, <laughs> you know? Genfu. Music in this version is great. I mean, I, I can't remember the Saturn music, you know. No low time on that uh, rematch. That's nice. for the bay man who is basically a uh, Sean Claude Van Damme from Lionheart that is a phenomenal movie by the way Yes, uh, ranks up there with Evil Zone as a freaking phenomenal 3D fighter on the PlayStation 2. That's not from Capcom <laughs> or Namco. And by PlayStation 2, I mean the original PlayStation. Being played on the PlayStation 2. Because that's what it can do. I mean, if you really only had to get one system, you should probably get the PS2, even as much as I love the Sega Saturn and Sega, but like... To have access to, like, you know, pretty much the entire PS1 library and the insane PS2 library and have a DVD player and a CD player, like, for PS2 is the most bang for your buck you'll ever get for a video game console. Darn it. No, no. 
synthesis of Hulk Hogan and Akuma. The villain we didn't know we needed. That kick is why I choose to sue me all the time. <laughs> nice music here. Nice character portraits as well. Yeah, we're going to have to review this on the channel soon. a game that you'd figure Capcom would want to release on one of those millions of arcade things. Where there's like shocking games on stuff. Extra config is open. Zoom again. Fighting order. Manual. Oh, interesting. Like, change the order of people I fight, I guess. Hmm. Let's have some coffee and contemplate our next steps on the live stream here. So it's a little after 12, and we've been streaming for 110 minutes. So, um, you know, huh, I did, I was, you know, chasing Santino around a lot today, having a lot of fun, and went to the gym, rolled hard. So, I mean, remit, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little tired. Um, and the fact that, you know, this is just kind of like solo stream, you know, makes me a little tempted to wrap things up a little early. However, you know, I wouldn't really be an old comic stream without some international channel tapes. So even if we just, uh, you know, pop in a couple clips...
and, um, you know, have some fun. We are also nearing uh, completion of Sonic um, Sonic CD, as you saw in the previous stream. So, you know, uh, I plan on, you know, just to keep doing video game reviews and uploading interesting content and streaming really as much as possible for the rest of the summer. Because I just want to milk it for all it's worth because, you know, um, August is the last month of summer, so... Um, and we're a little bit into August, so right on, right on. Um, so uh, why don't we? Uh, we'll pop in an international channel tape and see where it takes us here. But uh, yeah, don't be surprised if you see me stream, uh, you know, multiple times uh, during the week in the coming weeks too. Oh, you know what game Santino and I've been playing a lot of? Cuphead. It'd be a good game to stream. Um, we'll have to stream that soon. Um, yeah. Alright, let's check out the tapes. That game is freaking brutal, bro. You know what other game I've been playing a lot of is the Mega Man X Collection. Um, the thing I like about that is it's got <laughs> kind of an easy difficulty. I shall return. Okay, VC starts time. Okay, okay. Video two and Oh yeah, no, no, no. We can't have any TNA. Like we had to. I had the freaking last stream pulled like for two days while I was like working on processing and clipping out the quote unquote naughty clips. Um, of uh, and by naughty, I don't mean anything sexual. I mean like freaking just like a couple of minutes of Impact Wrestling on the background, and I had my stream blocked worldwide. Thankfully, they don't do that striking shit anymore, though. I just threw any Korean tape in there. Let's see what else we got here. This Korean music is like way too slow. Give me some freaking, I need some bangers here. It's like late at night. <laughs> Nighty <need> energy. <laughs> More than you. <laughs> um, this is the I'm Kyoko Izumi one. I'm not very good at translating from Korean to English because I came to America when I was two years old. But I think that's about right. If, if I'm wrong, you guys are more than welcome to email me and let me know. Ah, lovable Sujin. Korean, but I am so excited to be out here. I'm who so predated our revolution so girl, Sophia. Next week's video is actually by an artist who I adore. She is so cute. I'm so excited to meet her. We're actually having a concert on June 28th where she will be performing. Her name is Tangnara. So let's go check out her music video. It is titled... Oh, happy day! Because we're having... Shangara is always very... Right after that, we have another music video by a rock metal group titled um, First Love Pacharang, and their group name is very interesting, actually. It's Butterfly Effect. Let's, let's look at what... Uh, Butterfly Effect. I don't remember them being good. Yeah, yeah Shangara was always, uh, like, very, um, cute, goofy, feisty... This 
It's got some uh, some rhythm to it. I don't remember if I uploaded this on the channel or not. I feel like I did, but I don't know if I did. You know, I uh, I think actually before I go to bed, I might upload a weblog. I'm trying to beef up the lost media section of the channel. So I think I might do a little video on the story of how I finally got the music theme to the um, Bubble Star. It's not like super crazy, but it's got a little bit of interest in it. Plus we're still, you know, feverishly looking for the uh, Game Boy song, which I mean, we have to be able to find it. Like this, there's a way to do this, but I'm, it's it's hard to do it by yourself. I tried to message Marty McFly's on his YouTube channel and get a response. Posted something on Kenny Lauderdale's YouTube channel, didn't get any response. Messaged Justin Wang, didn't get any response. You know, I've talked to the guy Jillionaire GTV, and I did talk quite a bit to him. And uh, he's basically like, it's a dead end, but if you find anything, let me know. And we'll do a video together about it. My uh, elbow surgery, it's feeling a little stiff. I wonder if I like tweaked it doing rolling tonight. I remember there was something kind of interesting about this song. Jesus shirt. Or is that a tattoo? That's nah, gotta be a shirt. I think it's a sleeveless shirt and he's got tattoos on his shoulders. I mean, I am all for commitment to the Lord, but, um, that, um, that tattoo, that's, seems pretty painful. <laughs> it's a nice little power ballad right here. drip going here, late 90s drip. a good example of a power of a South Korean power ballad that's not overly melodramatic and involving car accidents like you know 90% of the R&B videos on revolution music video happen. <laughs> 
Which don't get me wrong, I love music video having a revolution, like, deeply, but, um, you know. I, I like something with a little more kick in the step. on my channel. This is a good song. And a good video, too. It's kind of like Bon Jovi if they were, like, you know, South Korean and living in 1999. Really got, like, the spirit of the age of the turn of the millennium. Probably do one or two more music videos. Tired of spatula spoons, tongs, and turners that just don't work? Yes. Right, yes, I am. You're ready for the Handy Chef, the amazing new kitchen tool that grips, splits, and whips just about anything because it forms a round of food. Man, so communism has been achieved, and its name is the Handy Chef. Flip over the front, I'm not being sarcastic or ironic. This is this freaking awesome. How many times has this happened to you? Now food will flip <laughs> instead of slip with a handy chef. See, now, if I ever got sponsorship on my YouTube product. channel, we'll I would like put real effort into the ads. I would like make the ads like cheesy infomercials. Right and I mean that in a good way. Like, I don't believe in cheesy infomercials as a derogatory thing. I view it as something as having a lot of style and really understanding the aspirations of the you know, of the working class and, um, you know, just having a lot of vibrance and, like, no pretension and comfort and beauty and it's generally good stuff. Yeah, click B, all right. kind of interesting you know like the late 90s early 2000s there was no middle ground for glasses you're either wearing goggles or like Ben Franklin spectacles playing k-pop from the late 90s early 2000s is we don't usually get in any trouble <laughs> we're not getting any like copyright notifications or anything like that it's nice I got nothing against Smash Mouth, but these guys they could kick Smash Mouth's ass. This is a pretty song. You know, and you like watch anime and you never think that Asian people can have blonde hair and blue eyes, and then Click B comes on and just blows you away. Dude's looking like freaking Usagi from Sailor Moon. You know, not with like the mini skirt, but with the blue eyes and the blonde hair. Although he is rocking a little bit of a school uniform with the loosened tie. I wonder if I'd get in trouble if I uploaded the Deke Sailor Moon tape I have. Probably. I don't know. I'm so happy Princess Rouge is still being allowed to stay up, though. Just want to be able to share all the international channel stuff. I'm thinking I might try to tape all of Dragon Ball The Magic Begins and upload it. There's no way that that's copyrighted. It's like a Taiwanese ripoff of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Oh no, we don't 
I kind of want to check out that, um, uh, what's that called, like, Shadar or whatever, that anime Kenny Waterdale was talking about from the 60s. It's like part western cartoon, part gritty action horror anime. <laughs> Well done. Sometimes we get music video requests where everyone seems to be rooting for the same group or artist. SES is obviously one of your favorites because we keep getting emails from you guys every week. We brought you SES's music video titled You for this week. Right after, after that, we have a new music video by Maddie titled Tunyo Tunyo. Hmm. Sophie, that's so cute. I'm pretty sure I... Do I have this on the channel? You know, you watch Bleach and you think that, you know, Asian people can't have red hair. And then you watch this SES video and, you know, it just really makes you feel uh, confident in the fact that uh, Bleach uh, is a reality. Despite the fact that it's been playing like 24-7 on Pluto TV for Lord knows what reason. It's actually had a little bit of breaks. They're actually showing other stuff again, but there's about like a four week period where all they were doing was showing Bleach. I was like, what the f did they lose the rights to the other animes? Like, I don't know. I mean, if I'm being perfectly selfish, I like Bleach, but they should just run JoJo's Bizarre Adventure all the time. Evil Cowboys. They, um, they ran this commercial in the international channel, Commercials for Revolution, or a music video. I don't even know what I'm saying. They ran clips from this video in the commercial for Revolution. Yeah, Coyote Ugly in the Matrix here. SES had a com uh, music video where they were playing a PS2, like, right when it came out. They were, like, making a big deal out of it on Revolution. Like, they are saying, like, how, like, the SES girls were, like, playing what we all wanted to have, you know? <laughs> which is a combination of them and the PlayStation 2, which was, like, sold out, like, gangbusters. Now it's like Sony's got to, like, fabricate scarcity for the PS5. There's no freaking reason that the PS5 is, like, just not available, like, 
you know, so far along after its launch. This has got a nice, nice beat to it here. Somebody combined like traditional Chinese music with 80s pop music and then filtered it through South Korean sensibilities. You get this, it's good stuff. So I watched this video, I really think I should do a YouTube tutorial on how to shave your head. I get a lot of comments about, like, you know, how does baldness work? How do you shave your head? Like, and they're not necessarily, like, I get them from kids, because they, like, just don't understand, like, that you don't lose your hair on the side of your head, and, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, even, like, adult, like, my wife didn't even know, like... I was like, what? Like, how do you not know this? Like, I guess it's because, like, so many people, they just shave their head, like, you know. But, yeah, you don't l lose the hair on the side of your head. You have, like, that horseshoe thing is... Because that hair is not programmed to fall out DNA-wise. Because your DNA is coded at conception. Because that's when human life starts. You know? So, that's the scientific truth right there. Um, <clears throat> so, anywho... My baldness was coded at conception because my uh, my uh, goat badass grandfather, who was a barber until he was 93, uh, you know, had the power horseshoe. And uh, my uh, paternal grandfather, who I don't know and never knew, because um, my father abandoned me and my mom, uh, like, um, you know, he was bald. My father was bald. So I was just going to be bald. There's no way around it. <laughs> and I used to be, like, concerned about it. Like, Mom, I'm going to go bald. There's all this baldness in the family. And she's like, well, you know, your great uncle wasn't bald. I'm like, what the hell does that have to do with anything? So maybe you drew that card. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, seriously, once I started shaving my head, that's when, uh, that's when the chicks started rolling it. So, you know, just get in shape, get some nice uh, stubble and a good shaved head and you'll be just fine so you shave your head and you have a beautiful family well, the irony being your freaking handsome fantastic beautiful son has like a golden mane of angel lion's hair <clears throat> which more power to you bro Seraphina's got good hair too but Serafina's gonna have brown hair like me, and Santino's gonna have like blondish hair like his mom. But Serafina's got blue eyes like her mom. But they're both starting to. Santino looks a lot like me, and Serafina's starting to look more like me. But they're they've got those like garnishes of their mom. But we make cute, we make cute kids so. Warner Digital Cable gives you the power to control movies. There's something's gonna happen. Uh, right now, eight mile. This was the uh, birth of Eminem's constipated flow, you know. He went from like gay trailer park psycho to um, constipated flow. 
14. That's that's constipated that memory. Right Lose yourself in the room. In like the gay trailer park, I was like, now I think everybody want to talk. I got something to say, but I think I'm out when they move them. <laughs> yeah, so on and so forth. Eminem is super talented. I the, the, the clout chasing bullshit I can do without. You know that always kind of you made me with him, but um, you, know, you got a couple songs of his that you hear on the radio, especially from those early days, and it's like suits. This dude's really, really good. Bring your friends. Oh man. I definitely have this on the channel. And I think after this, they have the Kyoko Izumi. Why don't we just ride out this till we get to the Kyoko Izumi part, and then we'll probably wrap up the live stream. And then all my, uh, I channel friends can watch this on the on the rerun, you know. There shouldn't be any issue with processing or copyrights. All we've all we've done today is basically play Resident Evil Biohazard and uh, DOA on the PlayStation and listen to obscure K-pop from the late '90s, early 2000s. So we should be fine. We haven't gotten any notices or anything weird. I thought we'd get in trouble for showing The Simpsons last time, but all it did was demonetize the live stream. I, mean, I don't care about demonetization, because I'm not, you know, it's YouTube is not my income, you know? Like, monetization is not a deterrent for me, you know? <coughs> <coughs> about being bald you get to wear a wide variety of hats i mean not not because you need to but just because it looks cool when you keep your head warm it's like hulk hogan you know like there's a wide array of bandanas not because he needs to because he wants to it's a good way to accessorize his look You do need to definitely wear a hat when it's like sunny up though. Like having your head peel from sunburn is not that fun. Mainly just because it's like tender and looks weird. Uh oh. They did. We've got copyright detected in the stream. Should probably, uh, you know, look at me for a second. Um. You know, I don't think... I, I'm pretty sure I have Coyote up on my channel. So it shouldn't be uh, an issue. But we'll just break up the, uh, you know, camera on television thing. You know, that'll kind of probably cause a little bit of a signal to the robot that's patrolling our thing. That, you know, you know we're, we're all on the up and up. So... And if Coyote wants a piece of the action here, they're more than happy to take it, take the ad revenue. Now, let's go check out the good stuff here. Not that Coyote's in good stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's over. We only have two music videos left. So I have to say goodbye to you guys. I'll miss you guys a lot, but I'm excited because I know I will see you again next week. Make sure you keep emailing us at musicrequests at zoomat.com. I hope it's coming out. I definitely emailed the shit out of that. We want to hook you guys up. You can have to be a chance to be one of our email contest winners or win tickets to the June 28th concert that we have. 
Next, we have two more music videos. The first one is by Ithra T, titled Keith, and the one right after that is by Sky, titled Young On. Now, you guys have that Sky two. video, that's a, that's a power ballad. That music video is cool as hell, man. Typing out, typing out the names of our email and concert, concert ticket winners for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the music videos that we brought you this week at Revolution. I can't wait to see you guys again. Mwah. Enjoy your week. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye, Sujin. Ah, uh, Mary. CD winners. Boom. That's me. Kyosuke Koizumi. I still have that as my MySpace name. I like the song. Yeah, H.O.T. is like, to this day, my favorite K-pop group. I still get some kids, you know, they're really into K-pop. Usually like the cool, nerdy kids. Um, and uh, I always, always tell them, it's like, you should check out H.O.T. <clears throat> I mean, the new stuff is, is cool, don't get me wrong. Um, but... Just, like a lot of this, like this kind of HOT stuff in particular is phenomenal. I also like the bright color palette in this video. Well, that didn't end well. It's like the start to a Yu Yu Hakusho spinoff or something. You know, I never got that CD. We talked about this at length in my International Channel 4 Life interview. I really would like to get together with a lot of my 